Hello there, this is Big Benedict. We're playing The Last of Us Remastered on Grounded Difficulty, which is the hardest difficulty, and we're playing on the PlayStation 4, obviously. There's no other choice for that. Um, for all those things I just said to, to be able to take place in one place, except for the PS4. Now those guys, if you want to, when you start right there, when you spawn, if you restart, you can hide behind the door and completely avoid them if you want to. It's actually quite funny because the guy, well actually uh, you want the guy you want the guy's pipe if you don't have one. So what I would recommend is that you hide behind the door, wait for the first guy to go down and then grab the second guy and if you want to kill the other guy you can't, you could follow him down the stairs and all he does is just stand in one place but you in my experience, I did not get any drops from him, so if I don't get a drop from an enemy, I'm likely to just kind of ignore him. But if he's carrying a pipe, I will take that pipe. So up here, there's nothing to collect as far as loot. Uh, some, of my, some, some of my videos, I've been saying, like, here is stuff and, you know, that's all there is, but don't take my word for it because sometimes I've, I've been redoing these sections and I've found other stuff so from henceforth what I'm going to say is in this area I found this you know um, but always always look for more stuff because I can't see everything um, this, this section here um, what you want to do if, if you can't get over here quickly enough or if you're too too you know um, too keen on getting that health pack right away just restart they'll start you right outside and then what you want to do is sprint across to the door and then make your way up here now this guy up here you can always choke him out without the um, arsonist seeing you have to kill everybody here and this is the order I like to do it in so I I just got here again with a different sort of circumstances so like in the next video you'll see that I have no arrows um, I think I use an arrow here. Well, that, that that actually coincides now, since I just wasted that arrow. But I believe I I was able to pick that one off of him if he did, if it didn't break. Um, but another alternative, if you want to um, just choke that first guy out, go down, go back down the way you came, go on the other entrance to this building, and then by that time this guy will have moved forward. But it's a little risky to take them out, so. You know, I would just say club them to death with the pipe that you just got, or just engage in fist fights. These guys don't drop Molotovs, to my recollection. You know, um, but they always drop something. Like for instance, right there, that's alcohol. I was calling that sugar at one point. I'm sorry about that. It's not. It, that's the alcohol. Okay, so what we're gonna do next? has run down the stairs and we will be greeted by a guy with a baseball bat I believe so I've caused a ruckus that's why uh, but these guys are in alert status um, this guy should be coming presently Okay, so this was, um, the reason that guy was a no-show was because I actually just redid this part and I made a ruckus and then every time that guy would rush in there with a baseball bat, so I guess I've been stealthy so far, I haven't, I've actually tried to be, been focusing on what I've been saying to you guys, but watch out for these traps, those nail bomb traps. A uh, good way to lure those enemies over here is to throw a brick, which are plentiful over here. Just um, hit the trap and it will explode and then the enemies will say, that's one of our traps. And then that will lure them over here. I've seen enemies like approach the approach those traps and, and duck under them. That would be the best time to to let uh, let fly a brick over there. So, I've been shot over here before just because of some of the angles are, are pretty sharp here as far as uh, enemy perchments and cover. 
And like I said in the previous video, I, I redid Pittsburgh like earlier this afternoon. I just restarted it because I wasn't satisfied. And I wanted to uh, craft fewer nail bombs and and thus um, you know make more shivs. Um, the light of the flashlight um, will affect how enemies react to you even if their back is turned. So don't have that on there. That that's that that's not applicable for clickers or or runners, but human beings will see the light. So that is that conceit. Now we'll come out here, take a swing at this guy, drop down, and Ellie's participating in the action now. Now that we've you know said that she can have a gun and. Um, if you come over here first, you're still going to have to go back and kill those two arsonists. So, you might as well take them out. Then we'll be making our way over here. And... Who's left? A couple of people? You could also, um... You could also tell by... You know, if you can't see enemies visually, you can also read the signs of, of Ellie. Um, usually she will, if you see her demeanor um, is kind of um, going away from where a, potentially, uh, where a potential threat is and kind of making room for you, that's another indicator that enemies are coming. If you watch my ho hotel lobby sequence, you could see that in effect when I was in that... Um, uh, bathroom with the hole in the wall and uh, the hole in the floor at that area. So the section's not too bad actually. Just take him out and that right there I have been um, not you don't need to tap, you don't need to mash the triangle button. It's a simple triangle press and it works it works, um, works very well. So there's a shotgun shell there's a shiv door over here, and once we meet up with Henry and uh, the other, I can't remember the names, there's another shiv room, and some of these shiv rooms I actually might not have a shiv for, but from henceforth, I'm not going to be crafting nail bombs, so I should have enough for all the shiv doors. And I'm going to try not to miss any. So if anybody knows the locations of all the rest of them, if you can just leave a nice little comment so I can just refer to it. Because I, I know there's one on the last level too, which doesn't really matter too much, you know, because you're already on the last stage. But I know I didn't get it last time. So all the enemies are dead. Now we can access the ladder. This area is mandatory. Like I mentioned, you have to kill everybody before the triangle button prompt will get up there. There's machine parts over here, quite a lot of them, in fact. And I really have to applaud this game for the way it works. Like, like on a difficult, like on these higher difficulties, you really have to depend on the game to function well. And you can tell that this game has gone through extensive you know programming adjustments and, and tweaks to make sure everything is just you know you know at the pinnacle of what it could possibly be but there's an I like that transition that I did right there because it kind of did a falling effect and then we're crouched now uh, but this section here there's um, enemies in that building which you can um, ignore there's a pipe right there for you to grab and then we'll take out this one guy here and this next section I don't I, d I just don't respect because there's enemies running at you but it's highly possible to do this without taking damage so if you take damage you know it, it, it's okay but I want to mention that um, inside this building over here there is a piece of bandage or not bandage it's it's not the rag, but it's the tape, the binding tape. 
in this in your in my haste here I didn't get it but or I just redid the section earlier tonight and I got it um, so even if I don't do this what I'm gonna tell you it works better is just to run in here and then the guy will come from the office and then just go over the railing just go over the go to the left once he spawns see I just did this a lot better earlier you just charge into this room mantle over the cover grab the the, the binding um, and do, but don't waste the brick on this you'll need the brick for the guy that's going to run at us so run in here the binding see the binding right there uh, well you probably couldn't see it but just jump out the window and you could either um, just sometimes you get damage right there which is unfortunate and then just throw the brick at this guy and take a swing at him. I don't even get him killed. That guy will just run over there, take a sharp right right here. And what I did over here earlier tonight was I went all the way to the top, and then I ran down here. I saw that the door had sealed, and then but this guy was waiting for me and scared the shit out of me. But they checkpointed it. Um, is that the same guy? But they checkpointed me inside here, so even though he killed me, I was able to... Um, to retain my checkpoint. I don't think there's anything in this in this area here. But you you guys know why I went down there. I was looking for stuff. But nothing exists. However, we will be getting a few things from this next room. So, just go up here. And we're going to be cutting through this room here. I think you have to go in that window. But, hell, you might just be able to go over to the right. But, I mean, why wouldn't you want what's in here? There's some stuff in here. There's something in the bathroom. Okay, machine parts, something in the bathroom, I remember. Five pills. And by the way, I've upgraded um, the upgrades I've done for the crafting in the, in the other department, aside from the actual supplies, is I've upgraded, the, I've made three upgrades. Two to the health, which is two, two out of two for max health, and then I've also done the other upgrade for weapon sway. So I have one more weapon sway to do. But after this section, we'll be jumping in this window and meeting up with some colleagues. And I will see you in the next part of, Pen of Pits Pittsburgh.